What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 11.1 to registered developers just one day after pushing out iOS 11.0.1 to the public without any kind of beta. So yeah, Apple is moving extremely fast right now. First it was the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, then 11.0.1 and now 11.1. So they're moving extremely quick with these iOS releases. So today we're gonna to talk about what's new in iOS 11.1 and I found over 10 new changes and features here in iOS 11.1. So first of all, you can see here that it came in at 2.12 gigabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus. And it actually didn't take too long to download. I was kind of surprised. So let's go and check out the build number for 11.1. You can see right there, it is 15B5066F. So of course it is a long build number indicating that we are going to have quite a few betas, which is pretty much expected. So let's go ahead back and look at some of the new changes here in iOS 11.1. So the very first thing I noticed is that when you actually input the wrong passcode on the lock screen, so let's go ahead and try to get the wrong passcode put in here. I'm just gonna put in the wrong passcode and you're gonna notice that you actually don't get the haptic vibration like you did in iOS, uh, pretty much every other version of iOS 11, including iOS 11.0.1. .1. So yeah, you no longer get the haptic feedback when you put in the wrong passcode. I hope this is just a bug. I really don't hope this is actually a new feature. I hope this does get fixed in the next beta. And if we actually put in the right passcode, you're gonna notice that the unlock animation to go to the home screen is actually quicker now in 11.1 .1 compared to 11.0.1. .1. You're not gonna notice a massive difference, but I have 11.0.1 .1 right here and 11.1 .1 right here. You're gonna notice that it's just slightly quicker here on 11.1. And this is something I noticed at the very beginning. So it may be the placebo effect, but the unlock animation definitely seems faster here on 11.1. .1. So we also have a change in animations when going in and out of applications, just the overall animation in 11.1 .1 seems quicker than 11.0.1. .1. So we have 11.0.1 .1 right here and 11.1 .1 right here. Check out the animation going in and out of applications right here. So we're gonna press at the same time. You can see that 11.1 .1 right here on the plus loads up a little bit quicker every single time for every single application. So it's definitely nice to see some improved animations here, some quicker animations. That's always a big part of using iOS. And of course we do have quicker animations when we go into the folders as well. You can see that it's slightly quicker here on iOS 11.1, .1, just very slightly. You're gonna have to slow it down maybe to 0.25 on this video to see that there is a difference in the animation speed that it is quicker indeed on 11.1 .1 here. Now another thing I noticed in iOS 11.1 .1 is that when you're actually in an application and you swipe down and tap on a notification from another application, you're gonna get a new animation. You can see it's like a swipe up here. That's a new animation here in 11.1. .1. You know, I'm not a big fan of that transition from app to app. I probably would have rather had just the fade like we have for every other application when you go in and out of it, but that is another change. Now, another change, which is actually more of a feature, is that when you're in Safari and you go ahead and tap on the top left to scroll to the top, you're going to notice that there's a new animation. So if you go ahead and tap that, you can see it kind of slows down a little bit as it gets to the top. It kind of just eases in right there and it looks really, really good, really smooth. So of course, just for comparison, I'll show you how it is on iOS 11. 11.0.1 .1 right here and show you the difference. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe up uh, or we're gonna go ahead and tap on the top right here to go up on 11.1. .1. You can see how it slows down. Then on 11.0.1, .1, you're gonna notice how it just goes all the way up to the top. It kind of jerks up there and doesn't have any kind of animation really. So it looks a lot better. Again, a lot smoother here on 11.0.1 .1 compared to iOS 11.0.1. .1. The emojis have also been shifted around a little bit in iOS 11.1. .1. They do look different than they did on iOS 11 and iOS 11.0.1. .1. You can see that we used to have the clown and the cowboy and all that so early on, but now you have to scroll over a little bit more to get to those. And you're gonna notice that there's different smileys and things like that that show up before they did here in 11 and 11.0.1. .1. Another really cool feature here in iOS 11.1 .1 is that you now get multiple emojis to choose from when you type in a trigger word like LOL. So you can see here we get three different emojis to choose from instead of just one like we used to. So we'll try it again with another trigger word like cake and you're gonna notice that we now get two options for cake instead of just one like before. So this is another small feature that I definitely am a fan of. So if we go to our settings and general accessibility and then down to assistive touch, you're gonna to notice that we now have new custom actions here in the menu. So if we go to that same panel here on 11.0.1, .1, you're gonna notice that we do not have these custom actions right here. And then also another big change with assistive touch is that if you turn it on and if you go to the home screen, you're gonna notice that when you tap the button, it now shows up relative to where the button actually is instead of just showing up in the middle all the time. So if you move this up here, it's gonna always show up in the middle. But you can see right here, it's gonna either show up in the bottom, the top, we'll put it all the way at the top. You'll see the menu shows up at the top now instead of just always being centered right there. And you can see that we also have the Siri button right here in the assistive touch menu. So some very welcome changes there for assistive touch if you are someone who uses that a lot. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is on the main page of the settings. You're gonna notice now if you go all the way to the top, we now have personal hotspot and VPN showing up on 11.1 .1, and they're not here on iOS 11.0.1. .1. So 
So now you don't have to dig into the settings, go into general and all that to get to your personal hotspot and VPN. It shows up right there on the front page. Now, as far as the 3D touch stutter, that is still present here in iOS 11.1. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not sure if this is ever going to get fixed. You know, it may take the iPhone 10 to get fixed. I don't really know, but it is still present, unfortunately, here in 11.1, even on my iPhone 8 Plus. But anyways, guys, those are some of the changes and features I found so far in iOS 11.1 beta 1. So of course, there's going to be more features found later on, and I will be doing a recap video, not a recap video, but a follow-up video, basically talking about, you know, what I found later on that I didn't find within the first couple hours of playing with it. So stay tuned for that. I'll also be talking about the battery and the performance and things like that, how 11.1 has been treating me over the past few days or the past week. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that video. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11 coverage. I cover every single beta here on the channel. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.